Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. We await the appearance of the sinister, multi-time NXT champion. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, Karrion Cross. Gentlemen, we are about to see a wrestling quick. Here comes Brutus Creed. And his opponent, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Brutus Creed. Few men in WWE can match this guy when it comes to pure wrestling. Except maybe his brother. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Creed. And this should be a real test of fortitude for these superstars. An Iron Man match. If you have the most at the end of the amount of time, you shoulders down on the count. Way too soon for him to be thinking about a pin. a huge psychological advantage too. Whoever it is that gets that first fall, if they can, you know momentum is on their side. Four. And an overbearing amount of offense against Cross here. Yeah, the Cross. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. The forces the ball. Great effort though. Oh, look at mounting and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. My God, what a striking display. Gary and Cross sparing some seconds to glare at the WWE Universe. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Straight up back down the throw. And goes for the pin! It's still hanging on. Not yet. Brutus 
Creed trying to bring the audience along. Nice takedown. I can't believe the nerve he's got interrupting this matchup. You shouldn't be surprised, Saxton. This superstar only cares about one person. It could be over here. This is it. He's able to beat a two count. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. Brutus Creed showing absolutely no fear of his opponent. Oh my goodness, and an impactful display of offense we just witnessed here. Crashing down with the senton. Brutus Creed showing absolutely no fear of his opponent. To the outside. This could get wild. Denied and reversed into a DDT. Launched with a belly to belly. Three. Into the ring now. Right, Four. Brutus Creed showing absolutely no fear. Saving us from having to sit through that. There's the clothesline. Will it be? A defiant kick out after one. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Bam! Down he goes. Superstar could do it to put him away. Hoist it up on their shoulder. Fireman strike. And this has got to be it. And still in this. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Look at 
this, just stop after stop after stop. Well scattered reversal there. Brutus gets drawn in. Followed up with a clothesline. Taken down with his own move. Amazing. Excited back to the mat. And the cover for the win! He gets the fall there. Oh, mounting it now. Just hammer away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead. One after another. Look at Cross gain the momentum in this one. Carry and Cross making this fight scarier with every maneuver. Backdrop. Oh no, trapping the arm. This is it. Sadistic cross finding amusement in all this. And that was a rough landing from that toss. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same. For the win! He gets the kick out after the one. The muscle memory's got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. Shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Oh, relenting with these knee strikes. Ooh, pulls on. for these attacks. Cross on the wrong side of every exchange. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the court. Shoulders down! He scores a four there. Hoist it up. Head like a basketball. He has to be at his limit now. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Here's the pump head, though. Suplex! Launched. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. And Karrion Cross grabs control late in his fight. Just unwavering offense. Cross never letting up. Uh-oh. Face for a turnbuckle. And he's been concentrated on that area throughout this one. He knows every blow there weakens his opposition more each time. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms. My God, what a striking display. Ross has that determined look on his face. And there's the tap. And come on now, the ref has got to get in there and force a break. He has scored a fall late in the match. All the way up. And the big time as he held him here. With that, he picks up a late fall. Oh, he's the 
debilitating forearm strikes. Oh, destroy your face. Carrying cross to the Doomsday Saito. Doomsday has a time for his opponent. Carrying with the top. And he makes it to the ropes. A new crew. Oh, he could be looking for a submission here. The submission is in. He could be up the fall in a matter of moments. Can his opponent hang on? There it is. He had no choice but to tap out. There it is with a late fall. Yeah. Double underhook. Hoist it up. Oh, stalling, taking their time. We got all day up here. Boom! vigilant the whole time, but it proved too much in the end. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine their head was not in the right place after that distraction. That's true, Saxon. It's hard to focus on just the match when there's an outside variable at play.